Come on, give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Allow me to, before we come to, to the rabbi, allow me to touch something. And I know Mami Julie will agree with me on this. Because she's, she's an elder among us. And she has beheld this with the body of Christ. As you were sharing, it occurred to me that the things we are actually preaching to seem to say if I preach prosperity people will have faith to manifest prosperity is a misfit like you said I need to understand redemption atonement to see myself reconciled to see yourself reconciled is now you not seeing by sight it is you seeing by faith because the word has told you it has interpreted redemption for you it has given you the understanding of atonement now that your eyes of understanding have been illuminated suddenly you know there's a supernatural awareness to know that you are reconciled that you fit with God that you fit with God that you you, 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 you you are one with God. It is when you see it that way that you now understand. Now I, I have no reason not to prosper. Once you see it that way, like the Bible says, it is a man with understanding that draws from the wells of salvation. Those wells break out for you. It means everything we must teach. We don't even have to apportion it. And say, I'm, I'm going to preach on marriage, so come and get a blessing. Because all these things can only come after that we, we have accessed them. But that means we need to understand the foundation of, the th of how the things that are reconciled to God reconcile with us who are reconciled. It is very possible to find a born again and he's not a prophet. He's not a prophet. He doesn't fast that much. He doesn't pray that much. And yet he's very wealthy. On the account of the blood of the cross. But let me say this as well. Have you ever wondered what was this? Why the Bible calls us ambassadors? Now, I'm, I'm a diplomat. I am a student of international relations and diplomacy. I want to relate some knowledge from what I, I know. But yet it amazes you that the only time he talks about ambassadors is when he talks about us being reconciled. It justifies what you said. Because an ambassador is the equivalent of his country. An ambassador is the equivalent of the president. Actually, ambassadors are called, they carry the same title like the one the president carries. So to God. <laughs> Let me say this. But you will understand. There's a reason why the work of reconciliation has been committed to ambassadors. 
to mean okutegeza god's titles and my titles ebyo byebaita katonda atinange byebimu abana baba bantu siba siba baba impita it's not the children of god that call me this titles katonda ya impita it's god that calls nga chitegeza chi mimi nti yesu kristo kufa that the dying of jesus christ en songa teyali ya ku it was not to cast away take away the wabulo kugoba ko emizimu but to cast out devil, ate akusitule but also to lift you otukire dala to come to the fullness of god otukire dala ku dala lya katonda to come to the level of god now let me show you something else about diplomacy there is what they call diplomatic rights wolo che baita edembe immunities and privileges there is what they call diplomatic rights of immunity you know some of us have studied immunity the scientists have studied immunity can I have a doctor here Fallen. get a microphone quickly what is immunity immunity chi not bad blacks version <laughs> ah, 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 ah. not bad blacks version eh? of paper and what no praise god what is immunity when we understand this man of god some of the things we saw since the blood of jesus already did those things for us what is immunity, immunity from from a scientific perspective uh, basically immunity is the ability of the body to fight against diseases are you hearing that it's, it's the ability to fight against it's not you fighting there is something in you yeah. you can't stay here you can't stay in Martin's body no no you can't stay here that is immunity now in diplomacy when you become the equivalent of of the highest honor in the country when you go to another country what happens in that country only affects the people of that country it does not affect you what do you want to get at? what does that mean that is the fruit of reconciliation what happens on earth does not affect me what happens in heaven is what affects me but listen to this i was shocked when we studied even the statutes of how you deal with a diplomat that is why because of ambassadors because of ambassadors you are not meant to touch the bag of a diplomat a diplomat diplomatic they, they call it the mission home diplomatic what you call the embassies you are not meant to enter there to take it work you even if you hear bullets that sounding. is not kenya Kenya. Even if that embassy is in Kenya, that is Uganda. Uganda. Even if someone murders a white person and they're in America, and they enter in, in the Uganda's embassy, which is in America, you can't penetrate to touch him. Because there is a, there is a statute that, that provides for 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 the property you see they, they don't pay taxes that's why they are they are, they are one of the best businessmen they don't pay taxes the laws that apply in your land don't apply to him 
Now he has said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Let's take it from verse 17. Children of God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, to mean to say, if you are reconciled by the blood of the cross, he says he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Why are they new? Because we have ascended to a status that Adam never had. We have amounted to a certain status. Where people who are bound by witchcraft are not. We have amounted to a certain level. poverty cannot reach. We have amounted to a certain level. Where the laws that kill people can, do not apply. We God. I belong to a realm. Where the laws that 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 make people suffer do not apply. But why? Look at 18. He says, All things are of God. Who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ? Oh, I like that it says by Jesus Christ. Oh. By Jesus Christ. By Jesus Christ. By Jesus Christ. And has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Then he says there to wit. That God was in Christ. Okay you give me the meaning. NKJV. I, I, we need to take word for word. Oh glory to God. Look at 18. Yeah? Look at 18. He says. Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Now look at the next verse. NKJV. That is I like the way you've said it. That's what it is. That is that God was in Christ. <laughs> Reconciling the world to himself. Not imputing their trespasses to them. And has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Are we together? Now, now continue. Verse 20. Now then. Uh -uh. You, you didn't get it. Yeah. When you get 18, God is telling you if you understand that you are in Christ because you are reconciled now then it tells you even for God not to count your sin on you it is a diplomatic community <laughs> They are those that law can apply to. But the one in the embassy called the Christ. The law of sin does not apply to them. Not even God can count it on them. Uh, now then. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. Turn to your neighbor and say, Your Excellency, sir. Tell them your sin is not counted on you. Tell them you are in Christ because you are reconciled to Christ. Tell them you are reconciled to Christ because you are covered from the wrath of God. The wrath of God does not abide with you because the penalty for your sin was paid for through the redemptive blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's amazing. And Satan respects the protocols of heaven. Oh, is not stupid. That is why he can only lie. But he cannot go against.
Satan respects the protocols of heaven. He can only lie to you. But he cannot go against the spiritual law. Do you understand? Yes. It is you to understand the law of your land. Stand that law that works in your world. I call that spiritual diplomacy. Amen. When you understand this truth, you will weep to think that you still need a deliverance service. If those things still touch you, you are not in Christ. You are not in Christ. Don't, don't even feel bad about it. Do what Musumba has said. Here again. And here, right? Put those th teachings on your phone. Put those teachings in your office. Put those teachings on that flash. flash. Listen to Christ until you see that even heaven. That is why they said, Paul, Paul, we know. But you, who are you? Because we're now talking status. What? Where are you coming from? To stop me. Which law? That was put in place. For me. To obey. Unto you. So someone is going to leave this teaching of the cross. And they are going to teach them demons. Thinking. When you pray Lord. Demons will respond. No. You need to be plugged into the law. Of spiritual diplomacy. And reconciliation does that. Yes sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. I'll begin from there. Yeah. Corinthians 5, 18. Yeah. If you to go. Uh, it says, Agamba, all things are of God. We from 19. The Bible says to wit that God was in Christ. That is important. Yeah. God Jehovah was in Christ reconciling. God <laughs> was in Christ reconciling yes, the world back to himself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. God himself was in Christ reconciling the world back to himself. And man of God one time he told us that there he meant bringing us back to the same stature yeah. and reconciling but the means it was through Christ it was through Christ that's why in the, in the beginning of this we saw that it was redemption yes. then atonement, atonement and after they were done yes. now reconciliation yes, yes. In Christ, Recon meaning the end of the picture for yes. God was to reconcile us back to, back to Himself. By the means, it was Christ. It was Christ. 
and you have defined reconciliation yes. as the exchange yes. Yes. of an equivalent value. Yes. Equivalent value. Yes. My God. Yes. Because you've come from, from the Gospels, and yeah. I would like to go back there. Yeah. John, John chapter 2, yes. from verse 12. Yes. From verse 12. Yes. They define reconciliation yes. as exchanging yes. items of oh, 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 oh. equivalent value. Yes. Yes. Okay. Equivalent okay. value. Okay. Okay. Mm. Until there was equivalence. Yes. For yes. example, a soda is 1,000. Yeah. If I have 800 and I go to the shop, I can't get it. There is no <laughs> reconciliation. Yes. So for reconciliation to be done, I need to have 1,000 and he needs to have the sword. That means if I don't have the equivalent yes. and I insist, yes. there will be no peace. Right. Nothing that God initiates ends in nothing.